It's extraordinary that this land, which was marshland, was converted into a park in just a few months. It was commissioned in March 1873 and opened on the 1st of September of the same year. We could do that now. And it's a tribute above all to the incredible Victorian energy. But once it was opened, it then had to be maintained and energy alone wouldn't do that. To keep this in the manner to which the people of Birmingham needed it and wanted it, we needed technology. This led to a machine that is very familiar to our modern eye, although with an unusually literal take on horsepower. Right. What date's this? Uh, this is from the 1880s. It's called the Green Silence Messer. Uh, right. Which was a, a new super duper model, which uh, in Latin means uh, silent cutter. Well, let's see it cut silently. Let's see how this works. Oh, there we go. It's cutting nicely, isn't it? Can I have a go? Straight line, say. Right. Oh. Oh. No, she's not going to stop. She's going. Uh, right. And do anything I have to do? Say, walk on. OK, fine. Walk on, star. Walk on. Whoa, she's on. Whoa, good girl. How much uh, would this have cost in 1885? Around about £50. Pounds, which is quite right. a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, and the lady that um, asked us to have a look at this one, she said the coachman had some tricks that didn't want the horse to sort of poo on the lawn. So he used to take the, uh, the horse and the lawnmower over to the bushes where he'd do a little whistle. Uh, the horse would relieve itself and then they could go back out and cut more grass. That is really clever, isn't it? I mean, to, to poo on the whistle. <laughs> it's were... extraordinary and, and, and a great trick. One of which... <laughs> we'll just leave that <laughs> where it is. Uh, so, I mean, that's actually not a stupid consideration. You don't want horse muck all over a lawn. What about hoof prints? So they would have had uh, leather boots. Why is, she, why is she not wearing leather boots? We tried them this morning, but she didn't like them. And I think they're the wrong colour for her. Really? The wrong style? Yeah. Wrong heel on them. These are the leather boots. This would have been a, a donkey boot, and you can see how much wear it's had. It's oh, yes, look, got, it's worn. Yeah, that's, that's it's worn ready out. for, for resoling. Um, these would have been uh, pony boots. And that's even Those bigger. are the horse boots. Up to the Shire horse boots. That's, that's wonderful, um, isn't it? I mm. mean, they even went up to an elephant lawnmower and a camel lawnmower. Really? Um, of course, elephant and camel's ideal for uh, walking on grass because uh, they've got such a big foot. I've got a picture here of a camel lawnmower in the 1800s. So you have. And that would have been a normal horse mower from the same sort of period. But presumably that's a gimmick. That's Not everybody it. had a camel. No, I can imagine that. <laughs> Although these mowers required quite a lot of man, horse and occasionally camel power, it meant that it was possible to cut grass more quickly, more often and more easily than ever before. And for a public park, it meant it could all be done more cheaply. <laughs>